Hey guys, does your leather footwear have unsightly dents, creases, or pressure marks? Don't worry because you can fix them and in today's video I'm going to show you my secret methods on exactly how to do it. Whether it's a pair of formal dress shoes like these or your favorite leather sneakers I've got you covered. So trust me you won't want to miss this. Let's get to it. My name's Evan and it's my goal to share the skills and tools needed to love your leather. Now, as we take a look at these beautiful calfskin dress shoes, it's quite sad to see how bruised and dented they look. And they were given away simply because of that. This mark was probably caused by heavy pressure over a long period of time, maybe it was improper storage in the closet, that creased and compressed the leather fibers. However, leather is extremely resilient and we can fix it by simply massaging it out. But before we do so, let's fill out our leather so that we can mold it back into shape. I'll be using cedar shoe trees, and for this method, you'll want something hard inside. You can even use your hand if you don't have anything else. This step will ensure that the form of the shoe won't dent or misshapen more than it is already. Now before we massage out these pressure marks, let me share my secret. That is gently warming up the oils and fibers of your leather. This makes the process so much easier and really allows your leather to reset its shape. However, you wanna be careful not to burn your leather, so be gentle when warming it up with either a heat gun or hair dryer. Never stay in one spot for too long. Once it's all warmed up, thoroughly massage the necessary areas and repeat the process until you begin to see some progress. Though if your leather is not budging, stick with me as I have yet another trick up my sleeve. All right, so now for that trick. Most professionals will use something like deer bone to smooth out leather, but really all you need is something hard and smooth that won't damage your leather. I'll be using a glass jar. You can use a bottle or whatever works for you. You're going to want to repeat the warming process and then simply rub your leather back and forth using your tool with firm pressure to almost iron out those compressed fibers. This is going to enable the leather itself to become uniform and remove any of those dents. I also want to be upfront that this method is not a solution to remove scuffed or damaged leather where the surface has become scraped or scratched off. This is simply for creases, dents, or wrinkles caused by pressure. I'd say about this time you may be wondering if this method will work on the creases that form when you bend down in your shoes. And the answer is, it depends. The method I'm showing you today works best with pressure marks, but you can easily remove certain leather creases on your footwear with it as well. However, I will note that some shoes that have become dry and neglected are much more difficult to restore simply because of the damage to the integrity of the leather fibers. So it may not work on everything, but give it a try and let me know in the comments below. I'm super excited to see how it turns out for you. Pro tip, try massaging the inside of your leather as well to remove those marks. All right guys, our leather has taken a serious beating after all of that heat and massaging, so it's vital that we take a quick moment to rehydrate and condition our leather. So grab your favorite leather conditioner, I'll leave my favorite suggestions below, and let's rejuvenate our leather so that it stays supple and flexible for years to come. Make sure you guys are thorough and condition the entire shoe because you never wanna leave some portions dry and others hydrated. This will leave your leather to age unevenly. And once that conditioner is all soaked in, grab yourself a soft towel or even better, a horsehair shoe brush and have at it. And as I always say when it comes to shoe shining, it's about friction, not force. So give it a vigorous but gentle brush down and watch it shine. That is looking great. So if you guys remember the damage we had before and now after, I am super satisfied with how it turned out and I hope that you guys can benefit from my techniques for your dented and bruised leather. Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys ever run into issues that I didn't address in any of my videos, please reach out in the comments and I'd love to give my best suggestions.
Thank you guys so much for watching and a quick shout out to everyone who's been actively commenting about their favorite products, cleaning habits, and suggestions. It's so exciting for me to hear from you guys. Well, dents are definitely an issue. A more common one is faded leather. So head over to my next video where I share how to vibrantly revive the color of your leather. See you there and remember to love your leather.